I'm meteorologist Mark Mancuso, and on this day in weather history, October 30th, 1991, an unusual storm formed off the U.S. East Coast. This extratropical cyclone, with its associated high winds for the pressure gradient between the high to its northeast and its low pressure center, created large waves. A Canadian buoy reported a wave height over 100 feet. It reached its peak intensity with the lowest pressure at 972 millibars. By November the 1st, an eye feature was forming and its maximum sustained winds peaked at 75 miles per hour. Reports indicated a warm core was present and that the system had become a Category 1 hurricane. It accelerated northeast and quickly weakened back to a tropical storm before finally dissipating over Nova Scotia. The Halloween storm lashed a nasty storm surge and powerful wind gusts, mostly in Massachusetts and New Jersey, causing damage estimated around $208 million. The storm was intentionally left unnamed to avoid media confusion, which was already focusing on the damage caused by the initial nor'easter. If named, it would have been called Henri. 19 years ago, I'm Mark Mancuso.